Good morning. We're still experimenting with moving the goats without pressure while they're kidding. What we used to do was we used to call them and then we would get behind them and clean or look for kids and bring the kids to the gate. That's kind of what we did in the very first move, if you guys happen to see it. And that was a wreck with this many kids and having them in that big a pasture. What I've been doing for the last three moves is I've been opening the gate and letting them drift. That's what I'm trying right now again. So here we are today, ready to move to the next pasture. Let's go and see how it works. I just want to be real easy and not get them juiced up. Come on. Yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on. Come on. I don't necessarily like how they've done this because they're they're just all but they ha they were already up walking around and kind of trailing around eating and things like that and they just kind of happened to see me come this way we still have a lot of nannies that haven't kidded the main thing is they get their babies either now or in about an hour so you can kind of see what's happened here. There's babies with mamas still in here. And quite a few. I'll show you here in a minute. But you can see in the distance maybe. Let me see if I can zoom in. You can see goats moving right through there. That's the next pasture. Those have already gone under. These have come up pretty much right to the edge. And they're just kind of... Uh, waiting here to make sure all their babies kind of come or they get them all gathered up which is perfect you know they're in the process of doing that here which is that's what you want them to do that's what they're supposed to do you can see there's a big wad of them over there I'm kind of right here in the middle, which is not where I want to be, but I wanted to kind of show y'all what's happening, which this is kind of what you expect. But when you're managing for parasites, it's real hard to leave them longer than you want to. So we're just hoping that it's going to work out. You can see there's some right over here in these trees that are waiting on me to move. Uh, they want me out of there. They bo they've all three got babies in there. And they're just waiting for me to get gone. There's almost always a dog that stays back. Today, that's the old man. So here's one of the nurseries. I can look down through here and see, you know, 10 or 15 nannies around here. This is what they do. So what we have to do is we have to just slowly monitor these areas and make sure all the nannies come in here and get their babies. So I'll check this every day at least twice a day. And just to look, make sure there's nothing in trouble. The only thing I've learned to do is if there's something there that acts like they've been abandoned, I will try to get a feel of them as far as their belly. And if they have a full belly or if I can see that they have a full belly, it's a lot easier to feel of them and, and tell. But if I can see or feel that they have a full belly, then their mom is coming back and nursing them and then bedding them back down, which I don't like. But what I've seen in the last three or four days is they will eventually take it and go to the new pasture. You can see over there in the distance is another dog standing guard at the backside of them. Right down here, we got another nursery. I'm going to drive over to another nursery where they were hanging out and just see if there's another group over there and make sure they do have an adult with them. You know, you don't want a bunch of kids running around with no adult supervision. 
<laughs> that's never a good thing. There's a couple with, well, at least one of them has their baby with them moving towards the new pasture. Sometimes it just takes them a little while. I try to feed the dogs that have stayed back in the previous pasture for this reason. There's going to be nannies. This nanny right here, has, this is doling, I believe. I can't see real well from this far away, but she's had a new baby, um, brand new. And maybe you can spot laying down in white there, there's one of the dogs right there with her. So I want to feed them first and encourage them to stay back because their desire is to go with the pack. And so for them to stay is, is going to be extremely important the way we're moving them. If they don't stay, they'll, they'll be lost. So I'm glad to see that. That's, that's one of three right over there. That looks like the pup, the young female. So anyway, that's a good thing. I'm going to get them fed. And I got Buddy right here next to me. He's over here uh, watching these close. And then I'm going to go ahead and drive over to the other nursery and see if there's anything that's been left there. Okay, here's nursery number three. And there are several babies here. Now, it looks like what I'm seeing is two, two or three nannies in there. So that's better than nothing. Anyway, I'm going to ease out of here. Okay, so this is the next day. The bulk of the nannies, well, all the nannies that left a baby ended up back in here last night. And so they're just now kind of moving out this morning which means some of them are taking their babies and some of the babies are falling back here. So there's quite a few right here that their mamas are just out of the frame here to the right and they've just they've just kind of nursed them and then kind of headed out. So this is what we've been doing now. We've been letting them kind of pull them on their own and it's, it's taken as many as four days and as little as two. And I can't tell you on this one how long it's going to take. But the main things I'm watching for as I do this is I want to watch and make sure that there are dogs with both groups. You know, you can kind of see the battle with this nanny. Her baby is in that group, and she keeps going over to him and saying, come on. And then she starts easing off. He's the, he's the black and tan there. So he's still there. And she's starting to walk off. Those other ones are following her. And she's probably a little bit confused, I'm betting, thinking those might be hers. But let's see what she does. She's anxious to get up with the rest of them. Now she's starting to realize the baby's not with her. And she's going back, and look what's going with her. It's the same thing that happens with the cattle. Now it's difficult for a mama like that, especially if it's a new mama. That's very confusing. So her baby is right there to the front of her right now, that little tan and black one. Now it's kind of right with her, and she's, she notices that it's hers. She'll sit here and try again to get him to come. And, you know, sometimes they just don't come. But that's where she's got to stay close. Or a dog has to stay with them. So there's a lot of characters in this play that need to function properly and you know you just try and, and whittle out the ones that are maybe the bad actors 
and then you gotta you gotta take action on them for whatever reason you know it may just be they don't function in your management or it may just be their sorry mamas but she's trying I'm putting a lot of pressure on her. You notice she keeps looking over here at me. I'm putting a lot of pressure on her being right here. She doesn't like me in this scenario because to her I'm a threat. If I was to just go off and leave, she'd probably just hang right there with her baby. But really she needs to teach the baby to come on. So I'll head on down to the next pasture and see what it looks like where I moved them into or at least started the process yesterday. Okay, this is where they're supposed to be. I've driven this whole pasture, and there is not a goat in here. So that's pretty disappointing. However, here they come. So if, if they go back in and pick up their babies and then come, I'm good with that. Here they come. They've committed now. Now, see, that old first nanny right there, I know she's got a baby, and it's not with her, so she's going to have to repeat. It may just take them a few days. Like I said, that first move, it took them four days before they got everything straight. There's plenty of new food, fresh food in here, so there's no reason for them to want to go back as far as food. Now, see if they would all just do this and just lay right here and be patient. Mama's going to be back. That would be ideal. Once they get to be two or three weeks old, uh, they're just easier to kind of move because they, they want to go, you know, they want to play, and just a little bit of movement, you can kind of get them this way. I can hear them over there bawling and, or neighing or whatever goats do to kid back up or to pair back up. So that's what you want to see. Everything is almost perfect. Okay, it's been two days. They all went through, I say they all, all of them but, you know, 50 or 60 maybe went through. And I got out here this morning and they're all back. So I am going to start driving them very gingerly, very patiently, and see if we can get that done that way because I'm to the point now where I got to get them out or in about six weeks I'll be having parasite issues this is me being ginger I just need mamas to start calling them It's those little bitty ones that I worry about. Hello, White. You staying with the baby's girl? Hey, sweetheart. You okay? Yeah. You doing all right? No pigs come around? Come on. Come on, babies. It just takes a minute for the babies to respond and the moms to pick them up and, and then to move. Come on. See, there's one right there that, that I worry about, that black one on the other side of the larger one. Come on, ladies. Come on. Come on, y'all got to move. Come on. That one right there. Golly, well, he, see, he looks like he's been abandoned anyway. Don't tell Lisa. Oh, no, he's brand new. There's mama right there. Hey, what do you say? What do you say? There we go. Oh. 
Come back and get him, Mama. That's where that she comes back and sold us everything else. <laughs> Come on, guys. Most of these babies should have no problem. That one's pretty new, but that's her mama probably right there. You don't ever know. She's looking. Oh, come on, guys. White, get up and do something. White's over there laying. She thinks it's nap time. That's fine, whatever, just get them away from this. Get them away from this playground. Come on, ladies. Come on, guys, you gotta get them. Let's get them moving. Go on, go on. Come here, White. Come on, get up this way. Get this way, they're wanting to come back to you. Come on, White. Uh. This little guy right here is gonna cause all the problems, aren't you, buddy? You're gonna cause all the problems, aren't you? Huh? Well, come get her. Come get her. Hopeless. <laughs> Go get her. See, uh, she's like, now she's trying to get him to come. She says, come on, baby. Nope. That's not your mama. Don't go there. That's your mama. There you go. As soon as they nurse, they want them to come. Hello, buddy. You gonna help me? This is turning into a uh, world's greatest day. We'll see how long we go. What usually happens, at some point the babies will be like, okay, I've been walking without mama for long enough. I'm going back. And then it's pretty much over. <laughs> Maybe the dogs will help me. Come on, guys. Lady, you gotta get going. Hey. You guys give it up. Horse around on your own time. Let's go. Okay, we got a bunch of slackers at the back. I'm having to I'm having to be just a little more aggressive. I'm still going slow. But I had to get my rig because I just couldn't get in position fast enough uh, to move in the right direction. In, in the process of being slow, their mamas have kind of got way ahead of them. And so I'm just trying to hit them that way.
she's trying to keep up with her. She's the one that has that little bitty one. What a good mama. I got one in the bucket here. I think I'm gonna put it out and see if he'll go get with him. Come on, buddy. I'd like for you to walk this way. Big old, his butt, his belly's full, so his mama's taking care of him. <laughs> Whoop, get up, buddy. Get up there with him. Come on, baby. Oh, here's That's her baby right here. Get your mama, she's gonna leave you. Oh no, she's got her baby up there. You're almost there, guys. You're almost there. You better come back and get him. Come on, buddy. You better find them. You better find them. They're here somewhere. Spot, where's your baby? Herding cats. <coughs> hey. 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 I need y'all to go. Hey. Hey. You too, little buddy. Come on, girl. You brought him this far. Ease him on up there out the gate. Go on. Yeah. Is that you, darkness? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Go ahead and get him to the gate. I know. Get him to the gate, lady. You know this is probably not the I'm down to the wire though on getting them out of here or I'm gonna have I'm gonna have issues and I may have issues anyway. But uh we got a storm coming in. That just never fails, but I'll take the rain. I hope it I don't wanna say it flood, but I hope it dumps. Let's just say that. Come on guys, we are in desperate need of rain. Come on. Lisa's going to be proud of me. She might call start calling me second world's greatest. <laughs> Oh, come on guys, just just a little further. Don't go under that. 
Come on. Come on, buddy. You're not going to like that. Oh, you didn't even hit it. Come on. Hey, hey, come on, Red. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Red thinks I'm gonna get him. <laughs> oh, you, you. Now what are you gonna do, little man? <laughs> he says, I'm gonna hide right under here. You cross that cattle guard. Now what are you gonna do? You're gonna have to jump. You better jump. There you go. I believe her. I'm gonna lose the whole kit and caboodle. Come on. Out today. Come on now. Go in the gate. Go in the gate. There you go. There you go, you babies too. <sighs> Woo. Okay. I'm gonna get the gate shut and then I'll just have to monitor. Thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you next time.